Hello everyone, today we are talking about tritones, just intonation tritones, the most beautiful interval within the musical spectrum. So calming and at ease, right? But what is a tritone? It's not a fifth, nor is it a fourth. It's something in between. But there's a lot of space in between. Which is the tritone? Is it 11 over 8, the 11th partial? Or is it the 7 over 5, which also exists in the harmonic series, but between found between the 5th and 7th partial? Two intervals added to one another. Next we have the 10 over 7. And these two septimal tritones have very noticeably different feel to them. The 7 over 5 is so much softer, more consonant and bell-like. The 10 over 7 is brighter and a bit more uneasy, almost anxious. It's going, it's almost sort of crying out in pain. Now see how different that feels from the 11 over 8. It's going, ah. Uh. It also has these fantastic tone clusters. Partials 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 of the harmonic series. While I really do love this 11 over 8, I just find that the 7 over 5 is so much clearer and brighter and not very dissonant. Yeah, I just like this one the most. Okay, but we should also look at equal temperament. The equal temperament tritone is in the exact center of the octave represented numerically as root 2, as the diagonal is incommensurate with the square, so too the tritone is incommensurate with the octaves. Gotta admit, it sounds pretty incommensurate. So these three tritones really don't sound all that much different, they're very close to each other, each being about 18 cents apart. But let's focus in on these two septimal tritones and try and discern what quality they have inharmonically. Two seven over five tritones do not equal an octave and leave this 50 over 49 septimal diasis in the middle. And so dropping down from the octave by seven over five is the same as going up by 10 over seven. This also means that seven over 10 is an inversion of seven over five. And to me, the seven over five version is much nicer. It pairs especially well with other just intervals such as the major third of 5 over 4 and the minor third of 6 over 5. This just diminished chord is really delightful. It's composed of a 6 over 5 and a 7 over 6 interval. Now the 11 over 8 still has a really good appeal to it. This could be called the endeca or unidecimal tritone, but I like the name elevenary. The elevenary tritone in a harmonic series Lydian. And on top of that, it makes a great contrast with the septimal tritone. Listen when it comes in here. So it's definitely worth it to use both of these tritones. They each have a unique, evocative, emotional feel to them. Another interesting thing is that there's another tritone form between the 11th and 15th harmonics of 15 over 11. This is only about 38 cents sharp of the just fourth. By going down from the octave 11 over 8, we get 16 over 11. And this makes possible a cool just intonation pentatonic scale that doesn't use a fifth, but uses two 11 airy tritones in conjunction with the major third and the major sixth. And with that, we get five different tritones in one octave. Can't get that with equal temperament. It 
So those are the tritones of the harmonic series, 11 over 8, 7 over 5, 10 over 7, 16 over 11. Only the 10 over 7 and the 11 over 8 are tritones. 10 over 7 is made up of an 8 over 7, a 9 over 8, and a 10 over 9. The 11 over 8 is a 9 over 8, a 10 over 9, and an 11 over 10. There are also 3 limit and 5 limit tritones that are common. The Pythagorean 3 limit uses 3 9 over 8 whole tones, while the 5 limit substitutes one of those for a 10 over 9. Thus, these two intervals are off by 81 over 80, the syntonic comma. So here's the 45 over 32, the 5 limit. You go up a whole tone, and then you go up a just major third. And then we have our Pythagorean tritone, created with three whole tones of 9 over 8. Based on these two patterns, we can create a 5 limit whole tone scale, as well as a Pythagorean whole tone scale. Very bright and kind of sounds like it's spiraling off drift of the Pythagorean circle of fifths. So those are the main just tritones. Hopefully you've gained some appreciation for this misunderstood interval. Each of these seems to me to be viable in different harmonic and musical contexts. Mixing them as I am here really shows how you can pull emotionally in different directions by switching it up particularly between the septimal and the eleven area.